nothing like a campfire. Wow, it's getting crowded around here. I can't believe it. We gotta celebrate big time. This party's gonna change everything, buddy. Are you sure you're ready? This is awesome! But it'll be even more awesome once everybody's on the dance floor! I was worried at first, but this party's kind of nice. Even the little ones are having fun. <laughs> we'll make a party animal out of you yet, darling. Now let's work on your dance moves. Never seen everybody getting so rowdy before. Usually that means something bad's about to happen. I don't know. I remember the last party. As long as Wambus is around, I can't let my guard down. What a fabulous party. It's no grumpa Palooza, but we make do. My darling, I'm always dancing. I'd love to storm the dance floor, but I prefer to sing along. And tragically, my vocal cords are fried. So the Osteoblast says, looks like the two of us are really boned. <laughs> <laughs> really boned? <laughs> yeah, Triffy, you're such a treasure. This party's a real hoot. Oh gosh, I don't know. I got two left feet. Wouldn't you rather hear about the captivating history of dance? Mighty fine shindig we got here. Better than the last one, that's for sure. I'm thinking I should apologize to Gramble first. But I can't muster up the words. Maybe I could use some of that there uh, liquid courage. Water, get your snack water here! Fresh, organic, cruelty f light! What are you kidding? Hey, there's business to be done here! I'm not leaving this stand till I get some of these grumps to loosen up. One who is me has foreseen the path to enlightenment is not walked with the feet. It is a journey taken with the mind. I understand your wisdom, O oh Great Shelda. You're saying I should chug this snack water upside down, dog! Yes! of sorrows. <gasps> An orb cleaved 
a snow of paper shawls. So this must be before one dances. If I knew we were throwing parties like this, I'd have come back weeks ago. Maybe later, bro. I'm busy soaking up Shelda's wisdom. How's the party treating you, Beth? Hmm, I've seen worse. Yeah, it's really coming together. It's nice to see everybody getting along. <sighs> Listen, Philbo, I appreciate what you're doing, like getting everybody here. It's way less boring now. But these grumps aren't friends. They're just making nice because it's better than being alone. Sure, but who wants to be alone? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a squeeb. But like, in a good way. Aw, thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the dance floor. Hope I see you there. I give this party seven out of 10, which is pretty good, I guess. For Philbo. Me, dance? I don't think this party could handle it. Besides, this isn't really my song. Maybe later, bro. I'm busy soaking. <laughs> There's a party in my mouth and I'm invited. Oh yeah, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I owe you an apology, brother. My earlier insults were unnecessary. Your inventions are quite valuable in capturing research samples, and I appreciate that about you. Your apology is as lacking as your ethical standards, but it's a start. Excellent. Now that we are reconciled, I have a dozen research papers that could use peer review. As you seem to have free time right now, let us begin. And I take it all back. Be at ease. The party lights double as a wave inhibitor. This party is secure. I have something important to ask Chandler, but such an annoying sibling of mine won't leave me be. You're interrupting personal business. Unless you have something intelligent to say, be gone. Rhythmic gyration has no purpose. Gee, they're playing my song! I'm gonna show them what a real party looks like. Uh, uh, look at this! Uh, uh! My darling, I I'd love to storm the dam. What are you kidding? That is brisk. Oh yeah. Uh huh. I have something important to. Maybe later, bro. <gasps> An orb cleaved. A snow of paper shards. So this must be before one dances. Woo! All right. 
<laughs> Much obliged, stranger. I better talk to Gramble before I lose my nerve. Trouble, Wambus. Gramble, I'm sorry. I've been rude to you and even worse to your little ones. You you're serious? No fooling? I don't tell jokes, Gramble. I am not creative. Oh, apology accepted! Of course, no forgiving is complete without a hug! No. But I suppose a dance couldn't hurt. service. Now I can sing the night away. Yeah! Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, I bet Floofty will want to learn all about the Desert Empire's dance of certain death. So you see, the desert dance mirrors the moves for hand-to-hand -hand combat against bug snacks. Thus, the youth were tricked into learning. Fascinating. Hiding purpose and frivolous waste. I will make use of this principle. Oh, you believe it when she says it. Triffany has convinced me of the historic and cultural value of expressive movement. Perhaps I should experiment. Phew! I'm all talked out. Makes me want to shake my tailbone. Watch my moves. It's as good as my singing. Yeehaw! Oh, yeah. Uh huh. I want to tell Chandlow how I feel, but he seems busy taking advice from that ridiculous hippie. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <gasps> An orb cleaved. A snow of... is mine. So it is. <laughs> One tears up the dance floor. Boogie boogie. Woo! Duh, you know I'm DTD. But I'm not hitting that dance floor without Snorpy. <laughs> My chance has arrived. Don't blow it, Fizzlebean. <clears throat> Chandlo, I, I... We've been together for so long, and I've always wondered how you feel about me. Do you want to be my boyfriend? What? 
Bro, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I see. Y yes, never mind. F forget what I said. Snorpy, we've been dating for years. Wait, wait, what? How is that possible? Dude, remember that time we made out on that Ferris wheel and I said we should move in together? Uh, well, well, yes, I, I just thought that we were roommates with benefits. You know I hate ambiguity. Sorry, Snorp Dog. Is that clear enough for you? <laughs> I love you, dog. Now let's dance! Right, that's enough work. Now it's time to work the dance floor. I think think they ain't bono don't they? did it, buddy. We're all together again. Well, almost all of us. Hmm. But you know what? Knowing Egabella's out there gives me hope that Lisbert is out there, too. I mean, none of this would have been possible without you, buddy. I know you have to go back for your job eventually, but I'd sure miss you if you left. And, well, you still need to interview Lisbert, right? So... Our end is nigh! What? End? Well, is, is that a metaphor, or...? We gotta move! Now! Uh, are, are you okay, buddy? Uh, all right, I, I know this looks bad, but as long as we keep calm... Our doom approaches! Pray to your gods, children! It's the queen of bug snacks! She's rising from the depths to devour us all! The Grumpanati aim to silence us for good. Their machinations are coming to fruition! Now hold on, we're not gonna die because of some cult or monster. That's right! We're gonna die because the volcano's going off! That's right! Wait, what? Oh, bad timing. Suppose we're gonna end up buried like all the others, eh? Come on, bro. We can survive this. As long as we got bug snacks, we'll be fine. My barn collapsed! All of my little ones escaped! Bummer. Whoa, 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 we're homeless and out of bug snacks? Oh, it's a grumpy grump world now. <laughs> uh, dibs on eating Philbo. Please do. I'm quite curious to see the result. Will Befica turn into Philbo or the bug snacks he's eaten? Hold on a moment while I retrieve my notes. Hey, 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 don't give up yet! We may not have homes or snacks, but we have each other. I know it's pretty scary right now, but we can't fall apart every single time something bad happens. We have to stick together. Well said, Philbo. Egabro! Egabro! You're all right! What a pleasant surprise. Welcome back, Dr. Batanugget. Hey, everybody. Chandlo, Floofty, Mr. Troubleham. Doc? I'm glad you made it. Does that mean you figured it out? That's right, Philbo. We know how to get to Liz. That's amazing! We gotta go right away! Ooh, sorry to say it, but is now really the best time? This might be the only chance we get. Liz is in danger. And this disaster is only getting started. 
the worst is yet to come. So spills forth the toxin unending. Quiet, you. Doctor, you are only subjecting yourself to needless risk. Elizabeth is likely deceased. Dog, this bird is alive. And we're not going to leave her behind. I just need Philbo and, uh, Philbo's buddy. Sorry, Chandler. Bummer. Well, what are the rest of us supposed to do while y'all were gone? You prepare for the worst. What do we need right now? Well, I'm sick of being in the dark, for one. I want to know what's out there. No worries, Beth. I'll build a couple bonfires, maybe a watchtower. Whatever's out there, we'll see it coming. But what do we do when the Queen comes to devour us? Well, I have a few prototype traps that I could put to use. How about the more practical threats? You know, the earthquakes, the volcanoes, and what have you. Simple. We find a way to get off the ground if the need arises. Well, none of that matters if I starve to death. We got my sauce. Yeah, no way, pal. I ain't gonna chow down on that nasty plant goop. Mm. I stand corrected. No more concerns? Great. Let's get to it, then. <laughs> Bramble, darling. You have to say goodbye to them. But, but it hurts to leave them behind like this. It's okay to hurt, darling. But you don't need bug snacks, and neither do I. You're right. We'll still have a family without him. I, I think I saw something out there just before the quake. The shadow, stalking me like always. Did it take my little ones on purpose? Oh, please get them back to me. The queen of bug snacks. What a terrifying figure. And yet, so inspiring. I bet I could write a thousand songs if I only had a taste. So it is that toxin! <gasps> oh, well, you're certainly doomed. I was right about that. I don't suppose you'd reconsider your stance on bug snacks, huh? Well, I don't necessarily agree with you. I'll admit that there's more to learn about bug snacks than I anticipated. That is the longest you've ever gone without insulting me. Thank you. I'm trying very hard. This is a serious setback. However, unlike the rest of these ignoramuses, I will maintain emotional distance. I will continue my work no matter how great the risk. Doom is yet upon us. Forsake the toxin now. Let it not even into your mind. Not understand the toxin. One need only fear it. I say we fix up the balloon, get it ready to go, and all of us pile in there. All of us? For free? <laughs> What'd you do with Cromdo? I ain't all heartless, Beth. Wow, you actually surprised me today. Crump me. This island wants us dead. But I'm not flying a coop without a little nest egg. As soon as I get a few bug snacks, I'm out of here, pal. Without bug snacks, it's only a matter of time before we all turn on each other. <sighs> well, I might as well have fun watching who cracks first. I bet it's Wiggle. I'm thinking something big is coming, Wamby. The end, you know? I know. Don't go giving up just yet. And don't run away this time. Sometimes it's smart to run, but I won't unless you're right there running beside me. All right, Triffy. We stick together. Even if we're history. Without them bug snacks, my garden's the only food source we got. Can't go losing it now. How can I protect anyone if I can't even protect my own garden? Looks like we're on the brink of being wiped out. Shame we only made it a year here. Hardly long enough to learn anything, don't you think?
I can make the trap 20% deadlier. 25% if I hurry. Think I should take out those bridges? Only takes one good punch, bro. Good thinking. We don't know quite how many assailants we're facing. Best to be ready for literally everything. Doesn't matter what comes out of Snorp Dog. You and me together, we're ready for anything. This is it, dog. This is the island's final test. It's gonna take everything we've got to survive. I don't know if Snorpy's got what it takes, so I'm gonna make sure he gets through it, even if it kills me. I fear that I've agitated the Grumpinati with my investigations. Or perhaps this was their plan from the very beginning. Whatever the case may be, I must protect Chandlow from their machinations at all costs. Gibbo, after we get Lizbert, are you two gonna come back to town? Oh, I don't know. I'm starting to like sleeping on freezing cold rocks. But I'm sure Liz misses our bed. Well, it'll be ready for you. I've been keeping your hut clean for whenever you got back. <laughs> You're such a weird guy, Philbo. Mountain. Still. Tall. Oh, do you need a break? Uh, how about water? Let me check your vitals. No, no, I'm okay. Besides, we're, we're almost there. Right? Right! But in the future, you could stand to do some exercise, or, or just hang out with Chablo. Open, Egabel. Turns out she wrote the order backwards. I guess even the great Elizabeth Megafig can still make mistakes. Well, <laughs> Poe Buddy's nerfigged, right? <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you are. We're coming, Liz. One, two.
what is this thing? Help! Oh, oh thanks, buddy. Uh, is Egabo with you? I don't know how we all got separated. Well, you found me pretty quick. I'm sure she's not far. Yuck! What is this stuff? Ugh, it's slimy and cold, and I, uh, I, uh, I kind of want to eat it. Uh, if Lizbird is really down here, we better find her fast. much catching up to do. I... I wish I could, but we're out of time. You have to get out of here. You have to gather up the others and get off the island. O okay, then we can talk on the way back. No, Philbo. I can't go with you like this. I'm so sorry. Are you seriously trying to interview me right now? I regret inviting you. You came here to interview Elizabeth Megafig? Fine. Keep it quick. This this is the island's true form. It's bug snakes all the way down. That's kind of amazing. It's disgusting. Once you understand what bug snacks really are. They're parasites. They get inside you and they change you. Your body and your mind. They make you want them. And before you know it, you become them. It's not that simple. They're insidious. Patient. You'll show them a weakness, and they'll exploit it. What you see here, this is what's left of everybody who came before us. Of every living thing that wasn't bug snacks. They always win. After I saved Egabel, I fell into this place. Before I knew what was happening, I was swarmed. Bug snakes were crawling down my throat. They tried to erase me, to make me into them. That's horrible. I almost lost myself, but somehow I pushed back. I made them into me. That's right. I'm sorry if I scared you. I just wanted to make everyone leave this awful place. But I can't make Bugsnecks talk. <sighs> no. The Bugsnecks are in a frenzy. They have been since we came here. They're so ravenous that they're shaking the ground apart. 
I'm the only thing keeping this island together right now. But it's like fighting a tsunami with a bucket. There, you have your answers. I hope you write a story worth telling. I'm sorry that I put you through so much to get it. I can't hold them back for much longer. Please, go and warn the others. Wait, I, I have one more question. If you're really not coming back, then... Then... What am I supposed to do without you? What do you mean? You've been doing just fine without me. It's only a matter of time before I screw up and ruin everything. I I'm not good at stuff, and everybody hates me. But you... They love you, Lisbert. <laughs> They love the idea of me. I'm sorry I put so much on your shoulders, Bilbo. But you, you are the one who can bring them together. Me? Well, I'm the one who made it all fall apart. What are you saying? I led you to this terrible island. I filled your bodies with parasites. I ignored all the warning signs. I didn't understand what any of you really needed. So now I'm taking responsibility for my mistakes. I'll keep the bug snacks at bay long enough for everyone to escape. Liz, no, 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 there has to be some other way we can help you. No, I should be the only one to suffer the consequences of my actions. Nobody else needs to get hurt because of me. Ha! Uh, where have I heard that before? Ikabil! You shouldn't be here. You need to get away. Get up. Get up. Come on. Let's go. Get up. Hey! Uh, ow! Oh, Eggabil! Stop it! No! You stop it! I didn't sleep in an igloo for months just so you could play martyr! We're getting out of here together. Uh, I... I can't. My control is already slipping. If I step outside this cave, my connection to the bug snacks will break and the island will collapse before I make it another step. Huh. All right. Then I'll get in there with you. Move over. Move over? It's not a car, Bill. See? That wasn't so hard, right? It worked! Eggabel, you beautiful genius! Wait, how did you lose your eye? Oh, I didn't. I just got conjunctivitis. At least the eye patch looks cool, right? Hmm, it does make you look a bit dangerous. So, um, how long before the island explodes? Oh, <clears throat> I don't know. It could be any moment. But I'm sure Liz and I can keep it together, at least until you get everybody out of here. What? So now I'm supposed to leave both of you behind? Hey, don't worry about us. We've been through worse than this. Right? We both survived so much by ourselves. Imagine what we can do when we're together. Okay. Good luck. And well, I'll see you again someday. It's time to get moving. Get back to snacks, food. We're going to have to take a bit of a shortcut. Hold on. Buddy, head hurt. Oh, bad. Not dream time yet. Gotta save friends. Yes, yes, save friends.
gotta get back to Snacksburg as fast as we can. We can't let the others eat any more bug snacks. If they transform all the way, then... Then who knows what'll happen? Oh, why did we feed them so many already? I just hope they can resist until we're all out of here. Snorpy! There they are. Where in Grump's name have you two been? I'll explain later. The bug snacks are coming to wipe us out. We gotta get off this island now! I suspected as much. Luckily, the balloon is almost ready to take flight. Great! But where is everybody? They're holding off the swarm as best they can. I've supplied them with all my most dangerous inventions. That'll only buy us time. Snorp Dog! They're coming down from the mountain! I need you here, now! Hold steady, my love. I'm on my way. Oh, but somebody needs to finish fueling the balloon. Don't worry, Snorpy. Leave the balloon to me. Go and help Chandler. Splendid. But as for you, you may need my snack chop. It's much like the snack trap if it were set to... Uh, Puree. Good luck. Okay, uh, this looks simple. Uh, never mind. Buddy, you better put that trap to good use. for now, buddy. Go and help the others. I'll have the balloon ready by the time you get back. Stay still, you pugnacious pests! Gah, why did Snowberton make this so cumbersome? One has foreseen. The bug snacks will be five feet to the right of where you're aiming. I'm a scientist, not an exterminator. You do it if you're so inclined. One is strictly a pacifist. Also, one is pushing 70. Not enough. Ah, but here comes someone with a healthy capacity for violence. Take this device and clear a path for us, please. Enough mortal danger for one day. Let's abscond while the bug snacks have subsided. You don't have to tell me twice. You, however, must continue. The others still need your help. <laughs> Come on, snacks. Let's see what you got. Uh, Chum, over here. I've just finished another device, the Trip Drone. With this, we can hold off the bug snacks and escape before Chandlo collapses. Don't worry, Snort Dog. I could do this all day. <sighs> oh, you beautiful fool. I'll pilot the drone. You aim the shot. Fortunately, we're short on connective surfaces. How about this? 
Hell you! Uh, that'll do. Let's get another angle. Work, chum. Yeah. Relocating. Get dunked on. It, dog. I'm gonna give you the hug of your life! Don't celebrate too soon. We're not safe until we're off this horrid rock. To the balloon! <laughs> uh, you see anything yet? All oh, this smoke is making my eyes water. <laughs> Don't worry. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's looking for trouble. <laughs> Sticking up! Snacks at three o'clock. You got it. Fire in the hole. Whoa, that toast. Who knew snack water was so flammable, huh? It's almost a shame to waste it like this. Oh, bestie, you're just in time for the end of the world. But now that you're here, if you take over the lunch pad, Cromdo can pick up the speed on those barrels. Can't you, Cromdo? Eh, yeah, sure thing, Beth. If I don't break my crumpet back first. Hey. Another one for you. Here, take this. Never come back. Oh. <coughs> I don't get it. Why are the little ones attacking us? They love me. They're like a mob of adoring fans, darling. They love you so much that they, they each want a piece of you. Even so, I can't bring myself to, to hurt them. So why'd Snorpy have to go and weaponize Sprout? Ramble! 
I didn't know you were so punk rock. I'm not a punk or a rock. I, I can't do this. Well, I know who can. Darling, I've got them all warmed up. It's time for you to bring the house down. Oh! Say it's over. My heart can't take much more of this. No time for an encore, Gramble dear. We better boogie. Come on now! Get! Get! Get your varmints! It's no use, Wandy. Must have learned a few things since the Stone Age. Well, what do you want me to do? I won't let them take my garden. There's hardly any garden left. There's enough. I still got my special sauce, fresh grown. Oh, good thinking. What? That's not what I meant. Oh, I didn't see you there. Would you mind helping out? Just a matter of life and death is all. That's about as big a break as we're gonna get. Come on, Wamby. It's now or never. Oh, I gave it my best. All right, Triffy. Let's go home. <laughs> We're all here. Though I think the balloon needs another minute. <laughs> ah, never mind. We gotta get on board now. <laughs>
Well, there goes another farm. Serves me right for building it on top of an island-sized pest. <laughs> I guess there's no shame in starting fresh. I'll find a place with rich soil, and even richer history, where me and Triffy can settle down. Well, there goes... I'll find a... I was so close to giving up back there. I get so caught up dwelling on the way lives end. But that's not the only thing that matters, yeah? Wambus and I, we're going to start the rest of our lives today. It's funny. I spent all my time chasing one muse, and as soon as I put it out of my mind, another strikes me. As we floated down from the sky, watching our home crumble to dust, a little song sprung into my head. I call it an ode to Gramble. I thought I'd be real sad when I left all my little ones behind. But I feel... okay. I don't know, maybe it helps they tried to murder me. But also, I got folks who love me back for real. Like... well, Wiggle. Oh, hey bestie. I think I need a vacay from this vacay. Going home doesn't seem so bad anymore. And my old life, my old friends, they're all gone. But like, now I know that I can make new friends. And this time, I won't ruin it for myself. Okay, I know when I'm beat. I draw the line at island full of monsters. <laughs> All I wanted to do was quit my dead-end job and do what makes me happy. I don't need some big bug snack scam to do that. Hey, maybe I'll get started in the music business. While I regret that all my research was destroyed, I have come away with a revelation. I cannot improve Grumpus Kind if I refuse to understand it. It may be a long and frankly annoying endeavor, but it is one worth pursuing. I've never felt so wrong being right. I wish I hadn't wasted so much time telling riddles. I don't need to be all powerful to give good advice. I just need to be me. And those who listen will listen. Look at that mess. It seems my enemies aren't so all-powerful after all. But still, there were many close calls, and Chandler was always there for me. I think perhaps I could share everything with him. Bro, that was intense! There's no way I ever would have made it out of there by myself. Good thing Snorpy had my back. When did he get so strong? Maybe I hit my personal limit, but that doesn't matter. There's no limit to what we can do together. Hey buddy, are you ready to go? Hey buddy. Are you ready to go? All right, everybody. We should head out. I hate leaving it like this. Liz and Egg, what if they're still out there?
Yeah. If anybody can survive in that terrible place, it's them. No, you're right. Nobody should ever set foot on Snacktooth Island again. I know. I can't go wallowing in regret now. We're barely even out of the woods. It's gonna take a while for the bug snacks to wear off on us. I can't go back home like this, so... Is it alright if I stay with you for a while? I can help you with your story. Maybe figure out which parts to tell, or... Great. Let's go. I have to admit, you got guts. Tracking down Elizabeth inside an erupting volcano? It's compelling, dramatic, sensational. I'd call it fiction if you didn't have this Philippus Yahoo along as a witness. <laughs> it's Philbo, actually. Point is, you're a regular Grumpter S. Thompson. It's just too bad those bug snacks weren't real, huh? <laughs> yeah, too bad. <laughs> I, I, I hate to think that we went through all that for nothing, so... Um... I hope you can spread the truth about Snacktooth before anybody else gets hurt. Don't worry. GNN specializes in painful truths. And speaking of, you're fired. This story's a page-turner and all, but you lost your job the second you walked out that door. Oh, please. It's not like I expected you to come back. Also, you're legally dead. Might want to clear that up soon. That wasn't ideal, but you've had worse days, huh, buddy? So, I hear the elections are coming up, and, uh, I, I was thinking of running for mayor. I could use a helping paw. How about it?
through my tapes, Clumby. The secret tapes in the secret place. They know. How could anybody even find them? That is such a violation of my privacy. It had to be them. Lisbert's crew. Flibbo, Tiffany, Wumpus, whatever their names are. Well then, I have a task for you, Miss Clumbernut. Find out everything you can about these so-called survivors of Snacktooth. We'll see how they like it when I learn all of their secrets. So, yeah, call me back when you get this. This is Jamfoot, by the way. Okay.